Elon Musk has said that a bunch of people will probably pass away during SpaceX's early missions to Mars. Elon was talking with the founder of the XPRIZE Foundation when he made the comments. Elon, along with officials at SpaceX, have said they plan to get humans on the Red Planet by the year 2026, with them saying that this is several years before NASA. Elon said the following, Going to Mars reads like that advert for Shackleton going to the Antarctic. You know it's dangerous. It's uncomfortable and it's going to be a long journey. You might not come back alive. But it is a glorious adventure and it will be an amazing experience. Yet yeah, honestly, a bunch of people will probably die in the beginning. It's tough going over there. End quote. He went on to say the following after the successful year SpaceX has had. For the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth, it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth and make life multiplanetary. Humanity is the agent of life, and we have an obligation to ensure the creatures of Earth continue. Even if there is a calamity on Earth, whether it's man-made or a natural calamity, if you look at the fossil record there are many mass extinctions. It's about ensuring we pass that threshold, where it's self-sustaining if some calamity prevents the ships from going there. What comes first? A self-sustaining city on Mars or World War III. It will be a fun and a great adventure, but it will not be a luxurious thing to start. End quote. He is currently working with experts and astrophysicists that are in the process of devising new ways to replenish the Martian atmosphere. Not only that, but they also plan to repair the planet's ecosystem to make it sustainable for human life. They hope to have achieved this by 2030. The idea of colonising Mars is an interesting one. It's definitely been in our scope for a while now, but some argue that the missions will be pointless, saying it's going to cost hundreds of billions of dollars to put humans on Mars, so why don't we use that money to help people on Earth? It's fair to say that our planet has many problems, a lot of which could be solved with money. Interestingly though, the late Professor Hawking explained why we need to colonise other planets, saying that it's overwhelmingly known that CO2 emissions, though originally a major factor in the issue of climate change, is not alone as an acting greenhouse gas. In fact, natural water vapours and methane is a far more pressing issue regarding climate change. This is due to the fact that as temperatures have increased on the planet, this has caused more water from the ocean to form, which in turn creates more heat and more vapours, causing a snowball effect on greenhouse gases. Additionally, the agriculture industry is responsible for the majority of methane produced via the large population of cows. There are over 1 billion cows constantly digesting and releasing methane into the air, that is responsible for more trapped heat compared to CO2 emissions by an additional 18%. Now many people just assume that by reducing their emissions, we can stop the global warming issue altogether, but this is far from the truth. Many climate change experts compare the analogy to that of a car speeding towards a canyon. Reducing the speed will help to buy more time, but until the speed is zero we're still racing towards the end. Even if the emissions are dropped by 99%, Given the fact that water vapours in the atmosphere are growing each year, the situation of our planet will continue to decline as well. Considering a 100% reduction of fossil fuels, including methane caused by cows and CO2 caused by industry seems to be an absolute impossibility. Efforts to prevent global warming seem fruitless. Within the next 100 years, the damage could be so bad that many plants used in agriculture Will become completely extinct. Many experts have said this is one of those situations where although we can help our Earth, the damage has been done, and we need to look for other ways to sustain ourselves, with some saying that humans could eventually become in the future a space-faring species, travelling from planet to planet and using its resources to sustain us. 
quite possibly one of the most thought-provoking arguments made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his claims made about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations regarding the overall probability of the Earth facing a cataclysmic event at a large enough scale to cause human extinction, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated it would take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never even took into consideration. Not only is climate change and global warming an important issue that should be addressed, but by his calculations, there is no possible way to overcome the issue regardless of any form of advancement. As dark and disturbing as Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions of doom and extinction may be, the late research scientists also seem to have a tremendous amount of optimism relative to the coming ages of technological advancements and exploration. Dr. Stephen Hawking argued that if such an extinction level event can be overcome, not only will humanity become far more united in its overall pursuits, but it will be a space faring species with self-resilience renewable resources and technological innovations that will have dwarfed all past human creations. Dr. Stephen Hawking most notably refers to us as planetary colonizers and makes the overall suggestion that not only will Earth be our home, but many of the other celestial bodies in the solar system may find themselves colonized equally as well. So what do you make of space exploration? And do you think humans should be colonizing places like Mars? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.